homegirl did not sleep last night, like for real. So if I sound very tired or just not all there, I really truly did not get any sleep last night. So let's see how this goes. Hey everybody, how are you? So today's video is going to be a fun little tag video called the blush tag. And I was actually requested to do this on my last video. Actually, it was my five minute makeup challenge video. I asked what kind of videos you would like to see and somebody said the blush tag and I'm like, I'm totally going to do that. So I am going to get into that tag a little bit later, but right now I did want to talk about this little hiatus that I went on unintentionally. I planned on doing pre-recorded videos because at the beginning of May I actually went to Tampa it was like the end of April, beginning of May. I was in Tampa visiting family. My sister graduated. Yay, Kayla. She graduated, so it was awesome. And then we went, me and my husband went to Puerto Rico, and we were in a wedding, and I did makeup for that wedding for my sister-in-law, and it was just a crazy, hectic, fun two weeks. And I really intended on doing pre-recorded videos during that time, but it just did not work out. I'm still kind of figuring out how to do Final Cut Pro and everything so it just didn't work out in my favor and I didn't have internet and it just was a hot mess. So that being said, I do plan on making it up to you guys by doing a bunch of videos. I want to do some series, I want to do like a lip swatch week, I want to do so many videos just to make up for that absence. So if you have any specific video that you want me to do, definitely leave it in a comment down below. And oh my gosh guys, I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome for supporting me. It's just been a crazy ride and I'm so close, like so close. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and become part of the KCV23 family. I love you guys so much, so let's get right into this tag video. So the first question is, best packaging. I have these babies right here. These are the Milani Powder Blushes. This one is in Romantic Rose and this one is in Tea Rose. This packaging is to die for, obviously. Obvious reasons why this packaging is to die for. Um, it's gold, it's sleek, it has a clear lid so you can see what is inside the blush. And then, I mean, really? It's a rose. How beautiful is that? I just had to mention these because those are like a must. Next would be Prettiest Color, and this is probably a lot of people's favorite blush uh, from the drugstore. This is Milani's Luminoso. This is what the packaging looks like, again with the gold and the clear. So this is like an all-time favorite for the summertime. You probably have heard of this blush before because it's always all over YouTube. When I first started YouTube, it was everywhere, and that's what made me buy this. It's like, it's a really pretty, like, peachy luminous blush it's right there hopefully you guys can see it it just looks so nice on the face and i just had to talk about it next question would be most pigmented i picked this blush right here this is the nyx hd blush in summer this is my most pigmented blush i don't have a ton of blushes so i had to just go with what i had and in my personal collection this is my most pigmented blush it's so pigmented in person, holy crap. It's like a vibrant, rich coral, and it does not look like it's coming out like that on camera. Oh my lord. Okay, so I turned down the brightness just so you guys can see how vibrant this is. This is like natural daylight. I literally just turned my ring light off, but I just wanted to show you how crazy bright and pigmented this is. Everyday blush. So my all-time favorite everyday blush by far has got to be this new Wet n Wild blush in Rose Champagne. This is the reformulated version of Wet n Wild blushes because they did have blushes before. This is like a very dusty pink color, perfect for everyday. And it gives, I can't open this, it gives the, the like nicest finish. It's like a shimmery but more like a satin nice glowy finish. That's as best as I can describe it. It's just so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's right there and I'm telling you if you've not tried this 
gorgeous. If you have my skin tone, gorgeous. If you are lighter, gorgeous. If you're darker, it probably won't show up on you that well, but it's still a gorgeous everyday blush color. Your favorite party blush. So I don't exactly know, like, I don't know what a party blush would be. <laughs> um, I guess, in my opinion, maybe a blush that I would wear to a party. I don't know. Nothing, I don't have anything like too, too crazy in my collection, but I do have this, and I don't reach for this that often. This is the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio blush in the shade Mauve, or Mauve, however you say it. It's a beautiful, beautiful like mosaic blush, but this is probably not something I would wear on a daily basis just because of how shimmery it is. It's not like crazy shimmery, but it's not... I don't know how to explain it. I feel like this is like a perfect nighttime blush, not so much for the day. It can definitely be a little bit too shimmery for the daytime, but beautiful and perfect for the nighttime glow that you're looking for. Number six would be blush that you regret purchasing. And I rarely regret purchasing blushes because if I'm going to buy a blush, most likely I'm going to wear it. I don't own a lot of blushes like I said, so if I have it, it's because I wear it. I don't really regret. But I do regret purchasing this. This is the Physician's Formula... Uh, Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Natural. I just never reach for this. It's not a bad color. I feel like this one heart right here is like the bulk of the color. Every time I try to swirl my uh, brush in here, it's like that is the one that picks up the most. And even though it is pretty, I just don't reach for it. It's like, I don't know, I have so much better blushes in my collection that it's just not not doing it for me so regret purchasing this for sure number seven would be least used and this was a close call for regret purchasing except for the fact that i did not buy this this came in an ipsy bag i think a long time ago this is the hikari blush in tango i have never used this on my face never hasn't happened i have no interest in using it it's just too bright of a blush for me it's just not not cutting it it is really pretty but it's just not something that i see myself wearing and this is actually a very close this was a very close call for most pigmented there it goes right there um but that one definitely by nyx beat it out and like i said i just don't see myself wearing it so this is definitely a least used hashtag hashtag least used slash never worn blush. So number eight is your most used slash would never get rid of blush and that has to be this elf baked blush. This is in the shade Rich Rose. I have had this for so long. I don't know why I paused for that long. Weird. This was the start of my makeup collection. It's probably one of the only things that have stayed in my collection from like two years ago. Love it. Like two, three years ago, Believe it or not, I did not have a makeup collection. It was just not happening. It was very minuscule. So this one, I just cannot seem to let go of. Next question would be, sorry if I'm looking down, this is your favorite blush brand. And it was very hard to choose my favorite blush brand because I love Milani blushes and NYX blushes, but I've got to say that this has definitely been one of my favorites within the past year, and that is ColourPop. I'm obsessed with ColourPop blushes. They are so intriguing in the way they feel and touch. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, the way they feel and apply and everything. It's sort of like a cream, but it's not. It's like a gel powder. Weird. But they're so pigmented, as you can see. They blend beautifully on the cheeks. They last a long time. I mean, look at that. These blushes are crazy. That one was Hysterical, which I believe is a limited edition shade. Those three are ColourPop blushes. Definitely by far my favorite blush brand. This actually runs into the next question, which is the greatest blush discovery of last year. And that would be ColourPop because I did not know about ColourPop before last year. Like, it just blew up. I got obsessed. I got a bunch of stuff and I'm always buying stuff from ColourPop. Their blushes are definitely 
one of the hottest things that they've come out with besides the liquid lipsticks and everything so definitely a must number 11 would be most practical and i did watch emily noel's version of this blush tag i'm doing her version because she added a few things and I saw that she had this listed and it truly is the most practical and most versatile blush that I own. This is the Becca Beach Tint. I have the shade Watermelon. She had a different shade. And first off, this thing smells amazing. It smells like watermelon. It smells delicious. And this is a cheek and lip stain. So you just kind of squeeze it out. It just works beautiful. It blends out. It is very pigmented. So it's a beautiful lip stain and then it blends out really nice for a nice like flush to your skin when you're trying to do minimalist makeup it is water resistant so perfect for the beach and I just think you can do so many things with this it's it's awesome number 12 would be least practical and I truly looked through all of my blushes and I could not find something that I found was least practical. I pretty much have a use for everything and if I don't use it, it's because maybe I don't like a shade or anything, but I don't find any of my blushes to be least practical, so I'm gonna skip over that. My most expensive blush, that would be my Becca Mineralized Blush. So this tiny little thing, which in comparison to the Milani Baked Blushes, I mean, this is the powder blush I mean, it's so tiny and this thing is like 32 bucks. 32 bucks so small this is in flower child which is a gorgeous everyday color as well especially for spring and summer it's just like a nice dusty pink there it goes it's on this side it's like it has a nice satin finish but it's not too intense and not too shimmery great for every day my least expensive blush and this is the last question in the actual blush tag and that would be my elf baked blush like i said this is three bucks can't go wrong with that you can even get this in like tj maxx and whatnot for like two bucks definitely worth the buy so expensive so inexpensive but so good number 15 would be my longest wearing blushes that has to be my ColourPop blushes by far they do stain on me they last a long time and i just have been obsessed like I said they're very pigmented and once you have them on there like they don't move they just they don't they stay and then number 16 is best blush palette and I don't really own a whole lot of blush palettes but I had to talk about this because I've been obsessed with it this entire month since I got it and it's by far the best blush palette. That would be the Benefit Cheekathon. It was in my April favorites and I'm seriously in love with this palette. You open it, it has a nice mirror and this actually can come out. I don't know the purpose of why it comes out, but it's fully removable. This palette is so good. I traveled with this when I went to Puerto Rico. It was just like my go-to. I am obsessed with Rockateur. I've always wanted to try Rockateur and now I have it. I love it. I have it on my cheeks right now. It is gorgeous. You pretty much get five full-size Benefit box powders in here, which is crazy. You get Dandelion, Hula, Rockateur, Dallas, and Coralista. They're all pigmented. They're all equally beautiful. I have a full-size Hula and it is the exact same size, same pigmentation pigmentation same everything this palette is definitely worth it if you have not gotten your hands on this I highly recommend that you do before they take it away I don't know how long they're gonna have this in stock or if it's limited edition or anything I definitely recommend that you pick it up if you have not so that was it for my blush tag I really hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it was not too long if you are watching this video consider yourself tagged I want to see your tag videos and comment them down below or let me know tag me in them somehow so that I can see them I would love to see what your picks for this tag would be I am going to list everything that I spoke about down below that way you guys can see check out some of the blushes that I talked about if you're interested in what not I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys so much I'm gonna go get some sleep because I am so like deliriously tired maybe i just need some coffee i just need something but i'm gonna get something so i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye